Hi, I wanted to show you a few more things about uh, Tableau. A couple of things here. I am using the uh, Tableau Public, and there are two basic differences between the Tableau Public and the full version. They're not big differences, but they can matter. One of the differences is that uh, you can't connect directly to a database. You can only use files to uh, load data so that's a, that's a big thing and in, in the regular desktop you can connect directly to the databases the other thing that you can't do with the public edition is you can't save locally you have to save your work to the tableau cloud all right but it is free and it is free forever so because I'm going to I need a file, I'm going to use a CSV file and you have done, so let's go to PG admin. Uh, I'm going to do tech certificate. Do I want the review one or the regular one? Don't know that it matters. Let's use, this is one I've been reviewing, but it'll work for this. I'm going to do a query tool. And I'm going to do a query to just get, um, I want the uh, student key. Um, I want the uh, city, state, uh, postal code, although I don't think I actually use that. And I also want the student start date. Okay, so this will be from student. It will do a join. Uh, so we'll join it to student, or join it to person, rather. And I'm going to do using, which I prefer. It's a lot more efficient, but I usually don't teach it this way. All right, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to run it to make sure that it works. Okay, we've got 200 rows. We've got their state, uh, the uh, city, the student key, and the postal code. So that's what we want. Over here is the icon to save it as CSV. So I do that, and uh, it is going to be called 1594, anyway, 629 CSV. So, in uh, Tableau, Tableau, I am going to open a text file. And I need to find where that is. I suspect it's in downloads. There it is. I'm going to open that. And it will show me the data. So there is all the data. 200 rows of it. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to a first worksheet. And I am going to put uh, the city. Or I think what I want to do, let's see, let's do city state. Maybe put those up there. And then I'm going to do a uh, count of the student key. And um, instead of a sum, I want to do a count. So right here where it says measure sum, I can change that to count. Then I'm going to choose the map. OK, because what I want is a map that shows where all the students are. Now it's saying it only has four unknown. If you don't have four unknowns, you can do edit locations and uh, you can choose to add like the, right now it's the from field state. Uh, but if that's not there, you can add that, right? You can choose the state, postal code or state. Uh, and then the city is the field. All right, so we have this 
file. And you can do other things with it, like if you want to change the colors. Over here you see the color. You can change the color. Uh, so if you preferred it all to be green, it could be green. Uh, if you prefer it to be red, uh, that's more purple. Here's red. I actually like the blue, so I'm going to leave it there. Uh, you can change the size a little bit if you want to. Uh, you can put some labels on here. Um, I am going to right click up here and change the sheet name to um, where students live. All right, and I'm going to do OK. Now I'm going to do another sheet. So down here we have a plus uh, new worksheet. And this one I am going to do state for the column. And I'm going to do a student key. And again, I want to do a count. So let's do measure and count as opposed to that. So this shows us all of our states. And it shows us um, how many students are in there. The most is uh, Nevada, which has 11 st uh, students, weirdly. But we'll go with those. Uh, and again, you can do things like you could change the color if you wanted these to be, oh, again, green or purple. You know, there's purple. Green. Let's leave them green just for luck. And I could also do this um, number of students per state, whatever you want this number of um, students per state. Get rid of sheet name or it will stay there. Okay. We're going to do one more diagram real quickly. So the trick with these is figuring out what, like how to change the count. What you want is a column. See, these are the columns. Each state is a column. And what you want for the rows. And my rows are the counts of students. All right, so I'm going to do one more of these. So I'm going to add another sheet. And in this one, I'm going to um, Again, do I'm going to do uh, a student start date, and I think I want it there. And then I'm going to do, and notice it shows year. And if you wanted to, if you were to go here, you could do year, quarter, month, day, or more. So we could do quarter, or we could do month, but we'll just do. Can we do year and quarter? Well, no, I don't want year and quarter. Quarter is a different thing. Well, could we do year and month? Actually, I think we could. We could do and then change this to month. That's maybe too big. Let's look at it a quarter and see what we get. Uh, and then for the data, I want the student key and I want a count. All right. And I would prefer like that. Except I, so that's quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, and then each year is a different color don't really like that. Let's change this back to year. All right, still kind of ugly, but it's it's brief, but there it is. We've got um, 2020 is the big year, 2019. 2021 is, uh, since it hasn't happened, the registrations are not full, so it's not a very useful figure, but it'll give us another chart. And we can do um, change the sheet name to
Oh, let's say student start dates. Student start years. Okay. So we have three sheets now. We have the cities where they all uh, <coughs> basically where they came from. We have uh, the states, the numbers per state, and we have the numbers per year. So I'm going to create a dashboard, and it's second to the last thing there. So I'm going to do a dashboard, and I'm going to drop sheet one there. And I'm going to drop sheet two, except I would rather... that were up above rather than I'm going to drag can I drag that down this is where I always have trouble is getting these in here just right uh, let's do horizontal no that's it vertical they are vertical Okay, that's that's actually better it's more what I want and then I'm going to add in the third one too uh, the third sheet okay and I'm going to change let's take a look at this I might want to make that one a little smaller So this is a dashboard, and I'm only showing you a little bit about it. It's like getting things together uh, so you can kind of see all of your data at once. Um, that being said, uh, for instance, this one, I think I could just get rid of that. And I think I could do, because it's fairly obvious on the other one too, I could probably get rid of that. It gives me a little bit more room. So here we have our dashboard, right? And you can do, it's tiled right now. They could be floating. There's ways to animate this. There's all sorts of things you can do. But I'm just going to make the basic dashboard now. And then I'm going to go to the story. And the story is basically for doing the presentations. And I'm just going to drag the dashboard onto there. And then I'm going to add a caption uh, where our students live. Although it's more than that, but all right. And so we have this. If you click on the presentation tool, it presents all of this information and you could put it up in front of a uh, school board, for instance, and talk about the students when they started, where they live, the number of students per state, and you could have more than one story. And again, all of this could be animated. There could be a whole lot more stuff and you can distill it it's all live you can do point at things and it'll give you the values you can do escape to get out of the story so what i have done just real quick review we clicked into the data source i made a csv and attached it in the full version you can hook directly to postgres i made a sheet uh, for a map of where the students live I made a map of the numbers per state, uh, and I made a map or a thing of how many, when they started. Uh, more complex map, which might be interesting, is the year they started and where they come from. Um, but I'm not going to try that right now. The dashboard, I put all those together. You don't have to put everything on a dashboard, and you can have more than one dashboard. And then the story. Okay, so this is a, just a quick review again of some of the neat things you can do with Tableau. And again, this just touches the most basic surface. If you have your own version, you could save it. 
if I save it, I have to sign in to the Tableau. So I'm not sure about my password. So we will um, skip that. But if you do that, it will go to its own uh, it'll go to the cloud and you can store a link to it. You could even share that link with me. Um, to show what you've done but again if you could also just take a screenshot of this so I am going to stop this recording <laughs>